Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Sahira. This is Sahira and in today's video I am going to share with you the most important long questions from your subject Business Statistics 1 which is for degree 3rd semester students. Now I know many students feel a little scared of this subject because it looks problematic and full of formulas, right? But don't worry at all if you just remember few formulas properly. You can easily solve the entire problem by simply substituting the given values into those formulas. That's it, you will automatically get the correct solution. So no need to worry or get feared of your business statistics one exam. Once you understand the logic behind each formula, this subject actually becomes one of the easiest and most scoring subjects in your semester. And the good news is I will also be uploading explanation videos for each and every unit of this subject very soon. So make sure you subscribe our channel Learn with Sahira and turn on the notification bell to get updates whenever I upload a new video. You have to subscribe our channel Learn with Sahira because on this channel you will be getting all the videos related to your exam preparation. I will make sure that you are ready for your exams. So without any delay subscribe our channel Learn with Sahira. Without getting late, let us get started. We are going to see the important questions unit wise. First, we will be seeing unit 1 important questions, then unit 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So from unit number 1, what are all the important questions are there? Let us see. But before saying you the questions, let me say you all that unit 1 is purely based on theory. You will not be seeing any problematic question from unit number 1. So be perfect with the theory only because in your examination, in your exam paper, you will be getting only theory questions from unit number 1. Ninth question will be given from unit number 1 and ninth A will be theory, ninth B will also be theory. So no need to go with any problematic anyway there is no problem question in unit number one so first important question from unit number one is define statistics explain its characteristics scope importance and limitations what is statistics and what are its features scope importance and limitations you have to write Question number two is define the term statistics in both plural and singular sense. Question number three is what is statistical investigation? Explain the stages and points to be considered in statistical investigation. First, you have to write what is meant by statistical investigation. Then what are the different stages in statistical investigation you have to write. And also you have to mention the points. When you are doing statistical investigation, what are the different points that you have to consider, you have to mention. Question number four is define sampling. Explain about various methods of sampling. 5. Define sampling. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of sampling. See, both these questions are one and the same. Like, both are uh, from the same topic sampling. Okay, so be perfect with sampling. It's various methods and advantages and disadvantages also. Question number 6 is explain the various methods of collecting primary data. What is primary data and what are the different methods for collecting primary data you have to mention. Question number 7 define data. What are the different methods of collecting data? Question number 8 what are the essentials of drafting a good questionnaire? Explain. So these are the 8 important questions from unit number 1. If you get prepared with the, these 8 questions definitely full marks you will be getting from unit number 1. No need to go with any other question. Don't feel like 8 questions are uh, much or more questions have been given from unit number 1. Don't worry, these are the important questions and easiest ones, okay? You can complete the 8 questions in very less time with the help of my notes, okay? I just want to remind you that I have already prepared complete notes for business statistics 1 subject and also for all degree 3rd semester subjects including core, non-core and languages. These notes are written in simple and easy to understand English so that every student whether slow learner or fast learner can grasp the concept easily. In my business statistics notes you will get all theory answers, formulas and fully solved problems in step by step manner. Whatever important questions I am giving you in this video all those answers and solutions are already included in my notes. 
so you don't need to worry about searching from different books the notes are exam focused prepared to help you understand quickly and score full marks in less time so make sure you get the notes and start your preparation smartly all the questions whatever i'm giving you in this video all the answers are available in my notes okay no need to worry that these are more questions you can cover all these questions in very less time okay if you want the notes text me on my instagram my instagram id is also learn with sahira search for learn with sahira on your instagram you will be getting the id or else i will be dropping a link in this description box okay so all right now let us get started with unit number 2 in unit number 2 you will be seeing theory as well as the problematic okay give much preference to the problematic because in unit number 2 very easy problematic has been given okay so you give a reading for theory you will be getting a theory but problematic is also very easy why to leave problematic when the problematic is easy yes so go with the problematic in this unit anyway i will also be saying you important theory question define diagram state its importance advantages and disadvantages second important question is explain the general rules for constructing diagrams so unit number 2 is purely based on the diagrams so in the problematic also you will be getting diagrams only so what problems you can expect let us see you can expect the problems on bar diagram okay in bar diagram you will be having simple bar diagram multiple percentage and subdivided bar diagram so on whole you have to be perfect with the problems bar diagram then ogive curves very important and easiest ones okay ogive curves histogram and pi diagram you will be getting problems on these particular diagrams okay these diagrams and uh, as i already said you i have already made the notes in that notes clearly i have given the solutions for all these problems okay you will be seeing bar diagrams ogive curves histograms pi diagrams all the diagrams in my notes okay and they are uh, really very attractive as well like you can uh, understand the concept very easily okay so all these answers are available in my notes if you want you can text me on my instagram but note little payment is there you have to pay a little but definitely you will be seeing big results okay there is a little payment only the students who need the notes and who are ready to pay should text me okay from unit number 3 you are having only problematic okay unit 3 is purely based on problematic but sometimes you may also get a theory that is what are measures of central tendency and its merits and demerits okay what are measures of central tendency mean median and mode what are its merits and also what are demerits you have to write up okay like uh, mean is uh, uh, effective or uh, it uh, changes with the outliers if there are outliers it will affect with the mean so we will be we will be using median mode like that there are few merits and demerits advantages and disadvantages you have to write but i suggest to you to not go with the theory just to keep an eye just give a reading to the theory but please prepare for the problematic because definitely you will be seeing problematic question from unit number 3 in unit number 3 problems will be given from arithmetic mean mean using step deviation method median and mode okay you can just ignore mode but get perfect with mean and median sometimes they might also ask you a problem in which they will be asking three types of central tendency like they will ask you to calculate mean median as well as mode so i suggest to you to go with mean median mode also but you give much preference to the mean and median okay from unit number 4 you are not having any theory it is purely based on the problematic so no theory has been given here so you have to focus on problematic only in problems you may expect standard deviation and coefficient of skewness then karl pearson's coefficient of variation bowley's coefficient of skewness definitely you will be seeing two questions okay you will be having 12th question a and b from these problems only don't worry i will upload explanation videos of all these methods all these types so no need to worry in this i'm just giving you the important questions but definitely i will be uploading explanations of each and every unit 
from unit number 5 also you are not having any theory it is purely based on the problems so problems you may expect carl pearson's coefficient of correlation and rank correlation so these are the two different methods of doing your solutions like these are the two different topics you can say you will be getting one from carl pearson's coefficient of correlation one will be from rank cor correlation okay so these are the long important questions from unit wise from your uh, business statistics one for degree third semester students no need to worry i will be making a separate video on short important questions of business statistics one so you have to watch that video to get full marks from your part a so this was the long important questions video if you want any other video let me know in the comment section and for notes as i already said you you have to message me on my instagram my instagram id is learn with saira you will be finding my id link in this video description also see you all in the next video all the very best bye bye